Hey, what's up YouTube, man, I'm back. I got this bag in the Fly More bundle, and I'm not gonna lie, this is a fly ass bag, but it does have some downsides. I'm a bag dude, I'm kind of a bag whore, if you wanna call it a name. Um, I like the strap it comes with, I like that it's detachable, but uh, it has these little, I like the straps, I like that it's detachable and everything. Uh, that's, that's a cool feature, um, but I just think the bag is too small. You get all that stuff in that Fly More kit, and uh, there's just no way you can comfortably transport it in this bag. So let's go over some features of the bag that I really do like, and then I'm gonna show you all some bags that I really do uh, like for, for the Mavic Pro Fly More combo specifically. Now, truthfully and honestly, I think this bag is designed for maybe the, Pro, the Mavic, the controller, and um, probably one or two batteries, and that's it, nothing more. Uh, maybe, yeah, some props too, probably, but it's, it's not a comfortable bag to reach in and out and you know maneuver your stuff around in. I like the design of the bag. It's a very great design. I like the build material. I think it's actually water resistant or maybe even waterproof. Um, I just don't think it's it's suited for everything that you would want to take on you with your Mavic Pro. I mean, if you're gonna be out, you know, for half the day and you just want to use your Mavic a couple of times, this is not the bag you want to bring with you. Uh, this is just for like, okay, I'm gonna be out like you know one hour and I'm gonna do I'm gonna fly all these batteries and then I'm done. And I'm going back inside. That's kind of that's where you would take this bag. So I, I honestly I don't even use this bag. Um, let's go over the bag real quick. I love the handle, nice sturdy padded handle on the outside of the back. It's got this, uh, this, this is probably a belt loop. So like, I don't know, maybe if you're just walking around or rock climbing or something like that. Then you got your outside pockets. This is where I actually store my batteries. And it's cool that it's ventilated. Uh, these are mesh pockets. I, I like the fact that it's ventilated. Let's put the strap over there. Um, but I don't like having the batteries on the outside of the bag. I just don't. Um, I would prefer to, you know, maybe put a little water bottle or something in there. Um, let me see. I like the, the zipper right here. But, you know, as I stated before, when to get in here, it's a pain in the butt. What are you gonna put in there? I mean, seriously, some you, you can put, probably put some Skittles in there and that's probably about it. So let's zip that up because I don't even use that part. All right, so we open it up, we got this flap, uh, and then you present it with, uh, and then you present it with, you know, you got this front pocket right here. I've seen people stash their batteries in this pocket, but then it's, it's you know, poking out all fat and stuff. And you don't want your bag looking all, you know, fully stuffed. So actually, you know, I'll put the props in here, my extra props, you know, and uh, got some reading material right here. This is the quick start guide I just keep in here just in case there's something I forget or need to go back to. But that's it. You know, maybe a, a USB cable or something like that. I'll put that in there. Um, opening the bag up because that's all that's on the outside. Uh, the zippers, everything is pretty tight and maybe that's just because I haven't used it much, but everything feels kind of stiff and I'm not a big fan of that either. I like comfort and ease of access. Um, so let's open this thing up. Let's flip the top. Now right here you got this mesh zipper pocket right here. I've got my USB cable right here. I actually fly with my tablet. I do not like using my phone uh, just because I like having my phone handy. Um, I, I like using my tablet. This is the Galaxy Tab S2 8 inch. So I like to use that. There's no space for that in this bag, but I do keep the cable right here. I also keep my landing gear on my, on my drone, so I have to put it in face down. Now, that's a super tight fit, man. It fits in there. You, I mean, you gotta watch the props. I mean, it, it's, it basically barely fits in there. They left you just enough room to squeeze that drone in there. Um, so that's something that I'm not a fan of because it's such a tight fit. And then on this side, you do have extra room, you know, for your for your controller to kind of wiggle around in there. And that's cool. But um, if you put it on the other side, it's going to rub the joysticks. So I ended up getting this little bracket right here. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. It, uh, it basically just slides on there. I think this might be an injection. No, I think this might be a 3D molded uh, kind of deal right here. But it, I mean, it, it serves its purpose. Basically, it just kind of locks the joysticks in place. That way they don't, you know, get loose and break off in your bag or in transport. And there's plenty of space right here you know on the face of the uh, screen where it won't touch so you don't have to worry about that scratching your screen or nothing like that or you can just put it on the other way and you're good to go so that's all I have in this bag and that's pretty much all that's gonna fit some of you might say hey that's all you need but what if you're going for a long time and, and you know you need to pack more gear with you this bag is specifically for the Mavic Pro and one or two batteries and almost nothing else now I do like the fact that it's padded on the bottom too not only do you have the padding of the bag but it has a little flap in here that I don't know if you can see that right there. It has a little flap right there where you can actually, where your gimbal can actually touch and have some extra padding. But that's what fits in that bag. And like I said, I, I really don't care for it because it's such a tight fit for everything. Um, I like the small size of it, but in this case, I actually reviewed this bag last week. I love this bag as my main camera bag right here. 
This is a, uh, made by Case Logic. It's slightly bigger in all dimensions than the than the Mavic Pro bag. If they had made if they had made this bag in these dimensions with the same build quality and everything, it would have been a perfect uh, it would have been a perfect addition to the Flymore kit. But this bag fits everything that your Mavic Pro comes with. I'm talking wall charger, um, the battery adapter, all that good stuff. You can squeeze all that stuff in this bag comfortably and it's the perfect accessory. It, it has a detachable strap and um, I've actually partitioned mine in, in my own personal configuration and I'm gonna show you how I load this thing up. And also I've actually purchased a, an additional uh, piece of padding right here so I can put it up, make a wall so I can actually pack my tablet and stuff it in here and it's good to go. It fits in there horizontally which is awesome because that's how I wanted to transport it anyway. Now, I don't have to worry about using my phone or having another place for my tablet to fit. It all fits in this bag. So I put my I put my Mavic in the bigger pocket the same way, but watch this. I don't have to squeeze this thing and make sure it's all, you know, compact and ready to go in the bag. It just kind of slides right in there. Like I said, I fly with my tablet instead of the uh, instead of my phone. So I actually keep this USB cable attached and I just roll it up just like that. And then I can just plop it down just like that. And it slides in perfect. And then I have these two batteries left over, right? I just sandwich them together like that and they slide right down in there with no problems at all. And then I still have some extra space in these pockets for other stuff. So everything is inside of the bag. I love that. Now, when your batteries get hot after usage, let them cool off before you put them in here. Or, I mean, you still have the outside pockets that you can use, but if you if you have a concern about the heat, you know, affecting your batteries in here, just let them cool off a little bit before you put them in there. All right, let's go. Let's take a look around this bag. Now, be sure to check out my review for this bag um, because it's a great camera bag. I actually fit two mirrorless cameras in here plus some extra gear but if you want to exchange this out for your Mavic Pro bag you all set to go right here you got a front pocket just like you do in your Mavic so now you got a partition here you got the regular side and then you got a padded a padded pocket here where you can keep a uh, oh a memory card I'm, oh this is the one that actually came with my Mavic yeah I can just keep a memory card in there just in case um, and then you know of course you're I always you know I always keep those microfiber cleaning cloths but you got some extra storage in here it's partitioned off two different ways um, there's no extra cumbersome pocket, you know, to, to kind of reach in. I, I really like that about this bag. Um, as far as pockets go, that's it. It does have the, the Velcro strap right here. And then you got your buckles that you can use. Um, as far as weatherproofing, like I said, check out my review for this thing. It's got a little pocket right here where your little raincoat for the bag actually sits in there, tucked away until you need it. Then it's got a nice little handle right here. Now this is not as premium as far as like, you know, build materials as that Mavic Pro bag, but it serves the exact same purpose. Uh, it's, it is a very high quality bag. I don't wanna take nothing away from this thing because I love it. It's a very high quality bag, but it's got the right amount of space and storage capability uh, versus the other bag. So now you can actually pack all your gear in here. Oh, I didn't even mention. So you actually have a little room on the top. Like I could fit my arm in there and it still will close because you have these adjustable clips right here. So, oh, I forgot to put my props in here. All right, so you can just throw your propellers in there anywhere you want to. I'm just gonna take this out because I'm about to show y'all my other bag that I use. Let me take this out, take that out, take the batteries out. What else did I have in here? I think that's it. Oh, my tablet, okay. So now my bag is empty. Kick all that to the side, get all this out of my way. Got my OCD kicking in, too much crap all over the place. Okay, let's say, let's say you're going out and you got more stuff you wanna take with you than your uh, DJI Mavic Pro. So you need a bigger bag. You don't wanna have to be stuffing a bag inside of a bag and you don't wanna have two bags. Well, this is my other favorite traveling bag right here. I personalized it. This is an Avocare logo. I'm an Avocare distributor. This is actually a low pro bag. Um, I forget what it's called. Link's in the description. I want to go through a quick run through of this bag and why I love it. This bag has actually been out for several years now. Um, you got your two full size water bottle pockets right here. I mean, you can pack some big old water bottles in here. Uh, you got some, you got some straps right here so you can put carabiner clips or whatever you want to. I've got this braided cable in here for some stuff I've used it for before. And it also comes with some like a, a chest or a waist strap. I've taken it off because I don't use it. You got two pockets right here. You got one that's a little, it comes about three quarters of the way down the bag. In this case, I'm just gonna be sliding the tablet in there just like that. And then the outer pocket goes all the way to the bottom. It's still padded, but not as good. So it goes all the way to the bottom of the bag and it's a bigger pocket. So you can keep a book or something in there on that pocket. Um, and that one stays right there, nice and sealed. So on this top portion of the bag, you open it up and this is actually an insert that I purchased a little while back. 
If I'm gonna carry my actual camera gear with me, I got room for my two mirrorless cameras right here. I got my tripod right here, my little pixie, and I, I've got it partitioned off to carry everything I need to carry. So that does not come with the bag. This is just an idea for you. It fit right here because it actually is partitioned off right here. There's a little shelf right here, and there's a surprise underneath. You got these two mesh pockets right here. So you can put your gear right here if you want to. And then there's a pocket right here where you can put some more personal gear. But then you got this open area. So if you need to take a, like an extra pair of pants, I don't know, maybe some shoes will fit in there. Just whatever personal gear you want to take with you on your little day trip or whatever. You got plenty of space for it. I've actually put an entire outfit in here, minus the shoes, in this one section right here. But this is where the magic happens on this bag. You flip this thing over. Then there's a little compartment right here that you just open up. There's a little flap. First off, you greet it with a little memory uh, card slot right here. So you just put it in there and it's nice and tucked away. I don't have a surprise memory card in that one. Now you can see I've been transporting my Mavic in this thing because I got some extra props right here. I'm a prop killer. You give me some propellers, I'm gonna snap them off. So I keep extra propellers right there. A little microfiber cleaning cloth, like I said before. I got a slot where I can just easily dump my controller right there. And then I got a pocket where I can just dump in a battery dump in another battery. And this little section right here has actually created another pocket, so I can just dump something right there, maybe a fourth battery if I wanted to. But I like to keep my batteries in there. I keep my propellers, you know, on the bottom of here. And then my, I like to put my Mavic in uh, top down in this, in this bigger compartment right here. And there you go, your Mavic is sitting right there all safe and sound. Now, over the weekend, I actually went to Austin. It was a little, it was a little day trip for me and the family. I actually had everything in this particular uh, compartment for the Mavic Pro. I had all the gear you see here, plus I had the, uh, the wall adapter, and something else, I forget what it was, but it fit everything. You see, I got a little extra room on top of the Mavic. I got this extra pocket and it's got plenty of space for all your gear and it fits comfortably and it's easily accessible. You don't have to be wiggling your hands in those pockets and stuff like that. So I really enjoy this bag. It's one of my favorites. This bag has been in my collection for a while. I highly recommend it. Let me set this one up right here. I'll put my props right here. So check it out. I know the Mavic Pro Fly More bag is awesome. I just personally think it's a little too tight of a fit and you can't take all the gear you're probably gonna need on that little mini adventure you're taking. So I just go for one of these, but that's just me. I ain't claim to be an expert in this stuff. I'm just doing reviews and I really like bags. But before I go, I'm gonna need y'all to tap on that like button and smash on that subscribe button and I'll see y'all at the next one.